What's going on Spock Chasers? It's the Dividend Bloodhound here with another investing episode. Today's episode we're talking about FMCI or should I say Tattooed Chef now as they have now passed their vote and the merger has been completed. And at least on my trading 212 app you can now see the new ticker symbol which is TTCF which means the company is now called Tattooed Chef. Now that the company is properly listed and publicly listed under its new name I've conducted some analysis and I've come up with a tattooed chef price target with it with that analysis to share with you guys today and I think as you will agree there is definitely some appreciation in this stock price so even though the SPAC is now complete it is now time to look forward to see this huge growth potential company and I'll get onto that a little bit more in the future. It is obviously early days for this company but we can see some serious growth over the coming two or three years or so and then beyond that as well. So for a new startup company it has done particularly well over this year in 2020 and has generated 67 million dollars worth of revenue in the first half of 2020 even with the global pandemic taking place which is absolutely excellent and people are now starting to switch on to the incredible value that this company could offer quarter three preliminary results ending on the 30th of september 2020 give a revenue of 41 million dollars on the quarter so far to this year that is up 71% on previous year. That just gives you a slight inkling of the growth that this company is going through at the moment in terms of its revenue. The company CEO has gone on record to say that, that she fully expects the company to meet or exceed its projected $140 million, $148 million revenue target for this year. And as you can see from the stats I just mentioned, they are properly on course to do that. There has been a small sell-off since the vote passed from $26 down to approximately $23. This is as some people have cashed in their profits. But if we look long term, if you invested from the start and you've probably doubled your, doubled your money, then that's fine, you can get out quick. But for some people that are sticking around for even bigger profits, this stock is still relatively cheap at the $23 mark in my opinion. Tattooed Chef has been compared to Beyond Meat, but I believe there is a slight significant difference between the two companies. Beyond Meat is a more mature company and that is reflected in the stock price for a start. However, Tattooed Chef is a solely vegetable and plant-based food company, whereas Beyond Meat is more about meat substitution. So there's no actual meat in Beyond Meat's products. They're more about substituting like meat-free sausages, meat-free burgers. Tattooed Chef doesn't really do that at the moment. It is just purely about vegetable-based products. I'm now going to move on and talk about the Tattooed Chef price target, which is what this video is all about. So I've given you a little bit of the background about the company and going forward now, I'm going to talk about where I expect the stock price to be in the next couple of years or so. I'm going to use some of the metrics from Beyond Meat to do this based on their revenue. So when fully diluted, Tattooed Chef is expected to be worth after all the original investors or as many as want to have cashed out and taken their profits. Fully diluted, Tattooed Chef is expected to be worth about one and a half billion dollars. If we compare that to the 12 billion dollar cap that is Beyond Meat, for only $297 million in revenue so far, Tattooed Chef has approximately half of that revenue this year alone and is a much younger company, but it's only valued at $1.5 billion in comparison to the $12 billion of Beyond Meat. Now, I appreciate Beyond Meat is obviously a little bit more mature. Its products are a little bit more out there. It has chalked up some deals with the likes of McDonald's and Starbucks. But still, you can't argue the metrics that are revenue and ultimately profit that is coming Tattooed Chef's way, even though the company is so low in value at the moment. Applying Beyond Meat metrics to Tattooed Chef would mean that Tattooed Chef should approximately be worth six billion dollars in comparison to the 1.5 that is based on half the revenue that Beyond Meat has. Even if we are conservative with Tattooed Chef's valuation, 
I think based on the revenue that it has, it is at least worth a third of what Beyond Meat's valuation is, based on the fact that Tattoo Chef is and has got its products into Target and Walmart over in the US. You can see this on their websites and it will be in stores as well. And the massive growth potential that plant-based food has. If we took that market cap, that would be still $4 billion dollars based on where tattooed chef is now at one and a half billion dollars you can see that there is approximately two to 2.5 times value increase in that it's not going to be immediate it will be over the next 18 months to two years there's certainly a huge amount of value increase available in that share price especially if revenue continues to grow at the exponential rate that it is at the moment it's not even just double digits in some cases it's 100 percent increases quarter by quarter year on year performance that is absolutely insane growth for such a young only just started only just de company and that is why i'm very very bullish on this company if we take that two to two and a half times increase in share price value market cap up to four billion, that means an approximate share price of between 47 and $58 per share. And at the current price of $23 approximately a share, that is essentially double or even triple, getting towards triple your money. And I believe that I'm being quite conservative in that share price. I genuinely believe that with the sort of revenue growth that it's going to go through, if it gets along the same sort of deals as Beyond Meat, it starts signing deals with McDonald's, it starts signing deals with Starbucks, that sort of thing, investors aren't going to wait this one out for very long and they're all going to start piling in. And eventually, I think that a share price of $40 to $50 may seem cheap, especially when you look at where Beyond Meat is now. Uh, approaching $200 a share. It'd be absolutely fantastic to get in as early as you can here and just sit back, relax, wait 18 months or so, or even longer if you're a really long-term investor, and just watch your money grow at a ridiculous rate, not achievable almost anywhere else. As I've already stated, the plant-based food sector is growing at a phenomenal rate. A lot of people are waking up to the fact that they don't want to eat either as much meat in their lives anymore or they don't want to eat meat period they are either, they're becoming vegetarians or vegans or a mixture of the both a lot of people are realizing the impact of meat eating on the planet and that it's not actually that good for you and they're really starting to switch on to this catch on and then tattooed chef and beyond meat as a to another extent are ideally placed as almost the market leaders to take advantage of this. And you could see that they will have a significant market share in the future, especially if they keep going and growing as quick as they are and, in, and the plant-based sector keeps growing as quick as it is as well. And that really, there isn't anything to me that suggests that that is going to stop. The company has a experienced, excellent management team that has run these backing procedures before and are no strangers to running a company and growing it quickly they already have an extremely mature product range that they're bringing to the market they're turning over significant revenue and making a profit already so early on in their in the in the company's life and also the brand is very very valuable that tattooed chef logo is starting to be recognized all across the united states i recognize it over here it's all over youtube channels it's all over facebook and instagram and that's only going to start extrapolating even more especially if influencers with millions and millions of followers start, start getting hold of this brand and start advertising their products which would probably be a really good way of marketing for tattooed chef to go down as I already mentioned, I'm very bullish on Tattooed Chef stock and I feel right here, right now, I have to come up with a disclosure to say that I am actually invested in uh, Tattooed Chef. I have nothing to do with the company personally. I'm just an investor that really likes the way the company is going and I do hold a, a significant position that I'm currently 45% 
up on. I got in very early on this one when it was a SPAC, but I plan on holding it for the long term and just seeing just how far this company would go. And hopefully this is gonna make me two, three, four, maybe even ultimately long term, 10 times my money. And if that's the case, I will be absolutely ecstatic. But I am very, very keen on this company and do expect that it will come up with at least 100% return, no problem at all. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. It's been absolutely great to bring you this video. At the end of the day, I am just a YouTuber with an opinion on this company. Do please do your own research before getting involved and investing in this in Tattooed Chef, if that is what you're considering. Don't just say, don't, don't just invest hard earned money just because some guy on YouTube has said so. Do do your own research. However, it has been an absolute pleasure to give you my opinion. I do hope that it helps at least alert you to the stock and you can have a look in there and get involved yourself. I'm gonna wrap things up there for the day. It's been an absolute pleasure. Do consider subscribing and liking the video if that is at all possible and you're feeling generous. It helps out the channel massively. And hopefully I'll see you in another investing episode. Catch you later.